He's a gateway of glory. Do you know him? His life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Well, you can't even teach him and he's not going to resign. That's right. viewers as usual the word of god is coming to you wherever you find yourself the lord is going to bless you as never before this is a one week program the theme for the program is the spirit of a builder the theme is very very powerful the spirit of a builder. Shall we take our Bibles and open our Second Chronicles, chapter number thirty-four, verses eleven and twelve? They gave it to the craftsmen and builders to buy huge stones. Now what they want to and timber for beams. And to floor the houses which the kings of Judah had destroyed. Now once he if you are a him for a sign on the men did the work faithfully. Now Mary Mano Yeah Jumano no quarry dear more. Their overseers were Jahat. Now one sis of four any Jahat. And Obedaya. Obadaya. And Levi's. Levi. Of the sons of Merari. Oh Merari Mamu. And Zachariah. And Zachariah. And Meshulam. Of the sons of Kohathais. To some of us, others of the Levites, any all of whom were skillful and instruments of music. When you read this scripture, some craftsmen's name have been mentioned. And what the Bible said about them is that they were the men who did the work faithfully so for one to be a builder you need to be faithful one of the qualities is faithfulness and then the bible mentioned another thing here that they were skillful so to enable you to build you should be faithful and skillful everybody as a builder in the house of god should be skillful and faithful you should have the right spirit so that you will be able to build on the laid down plan God has plans to be used to build everything that God has ordained Christians are builders in diverse ways. We are building so many things. We are building the church. We are building the church building the temple. We are building our nation. We are building our communities. We are building our cities. We are building our own lives. We are building our family life. And there is a laid down plan by the Lord God Almighty. We have to build in accordance with the laid down plan. When you read the Bible, the Bible says, 
in First Corinthians chapter three, verse eleven and twelve. Correct the phone number. I talk any kind. It's not me. I say move to back for the chrono. Eleven to fifteen. Do back for the cost of the money. The Bible tells us that. Chrono is saying there is a foundation laid by the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you could stand and say at so far from Matuho. And whoever is building on this foundation. Now we'll be building a wall to all see as if from me so no. She will build it according to the plan laid down. As I said, we'll see the same thing as she said. You cannot build on any foundation apart from what is laid down by Jesus Christ. One thing me and see if I from here so company here yes you could stand and say at so far no. So each one should be careful with the material that. He or she uses to build. If you use gold, if you use silver, if you use bronze, if you use stone, if you use wood, 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 and your words will be used to pass through fire. Now, when you man on your debate for Jemo, if you are what stand, now, so when you man on a CPA, the Bible says you will get much price. But if it doesn't stand, though you'll be saved, just it is just like passing through fire. So, that to build. With the right material. Build your life with the right material. Let us build a church with the right material. Let us build a nation with the right material. Let us build our own life with the right material. When you do that, you will be rewarded. May you receive the reward from the Lord Almighty. When you read a uh, main scripture reading, that's the key test. It is about a certain king called Josiah. He ascended the throne at the age of eight. At the tender age of eight. Very young indeed. And the Bible says when he reached 12 years, he sought the God of his father. The Bible says the God of his father. But when you read well, it tells you that the God of his forefather or his grandfather that's David. David. Hallelujah. Amen. Not that alone. He also pet Judah and Jerusalem. Now what see you that any Jerusalem home? Of elders and everything that God detests. He passed the, the cities. What see what mine home? Everything that was not right in the sight of the Lord. Everything that the Lord doesn't want to be used to build the nation. Today, in building your own life, you have to pay yourself. You have to take some pegative. This time, you're not going to the pharmacy. The medicine. Is the word of God. Is the word of God. Of the word of God. Of the word of God. You pet yourself. You pet yourself. Everything that the Lord doesn't want. Taking this medication. That is the word of God. You will be able to peg yourself. May you peg yourself of everything that the Lord doesn't want. You peg yourself of every sin. Every sin in your life. When you take this medication, that is the word of God. Just as Josiah did, you are able to peg yourself before you leave here. You go with the medication. You take the medicine. Everything in your life that will not be able to use to build your life. You pack it. It come out. It will come out. It is coming out. 
Wherever you are, and you are listening to a word, pledge yourself with the word of God. Hallelujah. This man also, those people who were worshiping idols, even their dead, he took their bones and then the living. They were bent on altars. This man didn't want to entertain anything that was wrong in the sight of the Lord. He was a revolutionist. So he didn't entertain anything that God didn't want. In building God's church, in building our nation, in building our family, in building our lives, everything that God doesn't want, do not entertain. A day is coming. That man is going to give account. You will give account of your life. This man, even the dead, he charged them. Man is going to face judgment. It's very good that you build your life according to what the Lord has said. Can I have your amen? So he was serving the right spirit. If you will be able to build in accordance to the will of the Lord, you have to get the right spirit. And he did again. He repaired the house of the Lord. Whatever was wrong, he repaired. Whatever is wrong in your life, you have to repair. Whatever is wrong in our church, we have to put it rightly to the glory of the Lord. In building our nation, we have to repair everything that has gone amiss so that the Lord will be so gracious unto us. And we have heard that the builders were faithful. To be able to build, you need to be faithful. God is in their need of people to use. But if you are not faithful, God will not use you. If you want God to use you to build his kingdom, if you are in a leadership position, and you are expecting God to use you, God needs faithfulness even your own life to be able to build your life to the glory of the Lord. You need to be faithful as you will try and try and try. You will reach nowhere. Hallelujah. Amen. And this man had the spirit of humility. So the Lord used him to restore the nation. He had the spirit of humility. And when the Lord was anointed with Judah and Jerusalem, and had planned to destroy these cities, because of the humility of this King Josiah. The Lord said, I have stopped. Even if I will destroy the nation, it is not your time. If the Lord had planned to destroy you, today, Christ Apostolic University College, situated in Kwada Sukumase, is accredited by the National Accreditation Board and affiliated to the University of Cape Coast and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Applications are hereby invited for admissions into full and part-time degree and diploma programs. Undergraduate courses include BSc Business Administration with options in General Management, Accounting, Human Resource Management, Procurement and Supply Chain Management, BSc Hospitality and Tourism Management, BSc Information and Communication Education Technology, BA in Theology, Diploma in Basic Education, and many more. Hostel facilities are available. Further inquiries, please contact the registrar via email cajucollege at yahoo.com or call 0506 and 0507 44 
4474 between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. on weekdays. You can also visit our headquarters at Osu near the Ohinijan Sports Stadium, Accra. Christ Apostolic University College, shining as light, holding forth the word. of the Lord. What say? Whatever was wrong, he repaired. Whatever is wrong in your life, you have to repair. Whatever is wrong in our church, we have to put it rightly to the glory of the Lord. So the Lord used him to restore the nation. He had the spirit of Humility. And when the Lord was anointed with Judah and Jerusalem and had planned to destroy these cities because of the humility of this King Josiah, the Lord said, I have stopped. Even if I will destroy the nation, it is not your time. If the Lord had planned to destroy you, today, I pray that you have the spirit of humility and what the Lord has planned against you. The Lord will stop. The Lord will stop. What the enemies have planned against you because of the spirit of humility. They cannot venture. They cannot venture. When they come, they will fail. When they come, they will run away. When they come, they will come through one door. But they will pass through seven doors because the Lord will beat your enemies. The Lord will fight your enemies. Your enemies will be confused. They will be confused. They will come as united body but they will be dispersed before they leave you. May all those who have united to fight you, may all those who have united to fight you, may they be confused. May the Lord fight them. May the Lord scatter them. Your enemies are going to be scattered. Say scatter. My enemies will be scattered because the battle is in the hands of the Almighty God. They can never, never, never withstand the might, the might of the Almighty God. They cannot withstand the might. Of the Almighty God. Can I have your aid? And another thing that this king restored was the Passover, which was in remembrance of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. It happened during the Exodus time. But then the Lord Jesus physically had not died. But the sheep that was killed in every house stand for Jesus today. Hallelujah. Amen. Every ship stands for Jesus. Every ship is a symbolic of the death of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, in building the nation, in building our church, in building your life, remember what the Lord has done for us. Giving his son Jesus to die for us. He did no sin. 
But he paid an expensive price with his life. That's the death of the precious one. The death of a king. The death of a righteous on the cross. Today, what will help you to build your life, to build your family, to build your marriage, to build your marriage, a business is the death of Jesus. He died so that you will be successful. You will be successful. Those who are listening to me and are failing by the virtue of the death of Jesus, you shall no more fail. No more fail. No more fail. Because remember what the Lord has done for us. The death of his son. His only begotten son. And because of that death, I am not a fellow. You are not a fellow. Can I have your Jesus Are you there? Are you there? There's a certain king. Now I I want to tell you something about what he did. He was. This man was not a king initially. Now But later they made him a governor. Because he had the spirit of a builder. The Bible says there was captivity in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And the people were taken into captivity. At Persia. And there was a certain man who was a very good builder. But he was a royal cup bearer. So one day, somebody came from their city, Judah, Judah. and he inquired about the state. Of those people who were left in captivity. When they were taking them into captivity. Those who were left there. He inquired about their life. He inquired from Hanani. And he said. Those who have been left in captivity. They are in great reproach. Because the wall of Jerusalem has been broken down. And the gates have been burned with fire. Now for a wall to be broken means there's no protection there. And the gates are bent. So that time, every enemy could enter there and assault them. So when you read the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, he said, when I heard this, when I heard this, I wept. I wept. I mourned. I fasted. And I prayed. So this man had the spirit of compassion. The spirit of compassion. So he wept. He prayed. He fasted and he mourned and put on a circle of and he prayed to the Almighty God and prayed to the Lord for forgiveness of their sins and the sins of their forefathers. And the Lord inclined his ears to his prayers. So one day, while performing his normal duties, he was so sad. And then the king at Asasis asked him, why are you so sad? Are you sick? He said, why will I not be sad? The wall of my city is broken down. And the gates are bent. So Lord, 
And to me, real. If it pleases you, say so when it Let him go and rebuild the wall. And your mommy, uncle, see your face when it The spirit of somebody who is a builder. Who homa I will be a wasiye. Is the spirit of compassion. I will be a wobo a homa bro. Because he was serving the spirit of compassion. Esa se no wa homa bro who homa. He had pains. He had pains. He was troubled. No, not in my Because these people were not having protection. The wall is broken down. Today, if you are a builder, and you will be compassionate. There are many people in this world. They don't have protection. The walls are broken down. Because they don't have Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, you don't have protection. Your wall is broken down. So Nehemiah was so compassionate. And he intended to build this wall. And he worked for them. How many times have you worked for those people who are not saved? He prayed. How many times have you prayed for those people who are not saved? He mourned. You are a builder if you don't know. We are building the kingdom of God. So you are a person who is being used by God. All of us are being used by God. So you should have the spirit of compassion. Those who are not saved, the devil can kill them anytime. They can kill they can be killed today. They can be killed this night. They don't have protection. In your own family. In your own family. Even some of your children are not saved. If you are a builder, if you are building your family, if you have too much compassion for them, if you are building the nation, you have compassion for us. If you are building our towns, you are building a community. The spirit of compassion should manifest in your life. So, because he was having the spirit of compassion, needed for every building, needed for every building, needed to build a house or to build God's kingdom, he sought permission from the king. And the king permitted him to now go and build it. So man, He point. asked him, how many days are you going to well, spend? He said, that man, go and then he told him. Now, and when he went, and before he was going, and said, no, walk, no. the Lord favored him. If today you have intended to do something for the Lord, the Lord will favor you. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord favor somebody in building your own life. The Lord will favor you. In building your family. The Lord will favor you. In building the church. Building this church. The Lord will favor you. The Lord will give you all that you need to help in building the church. So when he sought permission, he asked the king, the person who was in, uh, in charge of the king's forest, called Asaf. He, he, he sought permission from the king. So they gave him timber from the king's forest. He had favor from the king. African. But your favor is not from African. But your favor is from the Lord. Your favor is from the Lord. Your favor is from the Lord. So he was allowed to take timber from the king's forest. Not only that. Also, he had royal escort. Soldiers were guarding him to go and rebuild the, the, the wall of Jerusalem. So if you have the spirit of a builder, the Lord will give you a royal escort. 
Not from ethnic kin, but from the king of kings, from the Lord of lords, the Lord Almighty, the Lord Almighty, who crosses angels, he will cross his angels. You are not going to be guarded by human beings, but you'll be guarded by angels. Wherever you are, wherever you go, the angels of the Lord will guard you. They will guard you. They will guard you. Wherever you are, the angels of the Lord will guard you. Will guard you. Will guard you. When you are going to work, when you are going to work, the angels will guard you. When you are going to fight, the angels will guard you. When you board the car, the angels will guard you. When we were coming, when we were coming, one of my children told me that father i've seen a vision that while you were coming so the tire burst and i said my tire can never burst it can never burst because my car tires they, they, they are rot 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 it is not a rubber you see it as a rubber but it is a rod you cannot shoot and the tire cannot burst you are having a royal escort you are having a royal escort in your life when you board the car the ties will be iron, iron. wherever you are you will be guarded by angels the angels are guarding you in the morning in the afternoon in the evening and even when you are asleep when you are asleep they will spread their wings and cover you and cover you may you have protection may you have protection if you have the spirit of a builder the Lord will protect you if you help if you will help to build a church the Lord will protect you so Nehemiah had a royal escort he was guarded by the, the king's soldiers so when he came to Jerusalem he told them Jerusalem about their reproach about their Jerusalem 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 the blood of Jesus is a wall around you. No enemy can get hold of you. So he told them about their reproach. That not having a wall around this city is a reproach. And we are in danger. Anytime that the enemies like they can pounce on us and destroy us. So he motivated them. And when you read the Bible, the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah Gumano, chapter 2, verse 18 to 19, the people understood him because he shared the vision with them. If the pastor shares his vision, we have to all agree to what he is saying and let us agree with him and let us all with all our efforts build the kingdom of God and the people said let us rise and build let us rise and build hallelujah so the spirit that he was having the spirit of a builder 
He shared it. He shared it among them. And they also had a spirit. And the selectors rise and build. Hallelujah. Tell your brother. Tell your sister. So we are going to build. We are going to build. Let us rise. Let us rise and build the church. Let us rise and build our nation. Let us rise and build our families. Let us rise. Let us rise and build God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Do you know what happened? When Tobiah and Sambalat and Gesem heard that they were building, they were going to build a wall. They were so annoyed. They were infuriated. So they were teasing them. They were teasing them. Including their church. Including your life. Including your family. Some people will laugh at you. Why they will laugh? Or they will not laugh? You will build your family. Why they will laugh? Or not? You will build the church. Why they will laugh? Or not? You will build the nation. Why they will laugh? Or not? You will build your life. You will build your life. Hallelujah. So when they started building, Tobia also went and saw what they were doing. And then he started teasing them. So this house, this world they are building, even if a fox, if a fox passes on it, the wall will fall. And he said, My God, they have no share. They have no share in your kingdom. They don't have any portion. Nehemiah told them when they rose against you that these people have no portion in your kingdom. I want you to be aware in building God's church there are some people when they see that what a son is pastor or God is using some people to build the church. They are not at they are not at ease. They will rise. They will tease you. They will tease you. But whether they will tease you or not, lo and behold, God will build his church. God will build CS. There are many people who think that the church cannot be built. Whether they believe or not, God will build the church. God will build CS. There are some people as you are moving to and fro. They think you cannot reach anywhere in life. Whether they believe or not, you are building your life. You will build it. Hallelujah. Amen. So these people had the spirit of a builder. So they all organize themselves. And then the enemies conspired that we pass on them while building the wall to go and kill them. So what they did was that they divided themselves into two. Some people were guarding them with arms and also while they were building while they were building someone would take a burden or a block with one hand and then with one hand they were, they were holding arms those guns so they were serious to be able to build you need to be serious the spirit of a builder is seriousness seriousness you don't allow yourself to be distracted. There are many enemies who are distracting people. Who are building their own lives. Who are building the church of God. Who 
building God's church. They will distract you. Even the temple. There are some people. They will fight against you. In the spirit. But what I want you to understand. Is that. Our God. Our God. Who has sent us. Who has sent us. Is behind us. He is with us. He is with us. He will never forsake us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will never leave us. The Lord is with you. 24 hours a day. Say 24 hours. The Lord is with me. He will never leave me for, for a second. So do you know what happened? Within 52 days. 52 days. 52 days. They completed during the war. Because they had a man to work. And they were serious. And they were bold. They were bold. If you be able to build, you need to be bold. You need to be serious. Don't be distracted. There are many distractions in building your life, in building God's church, in building your family, in building the nation. There are many distractions. But that's why the distractions you complete building our lives, building the nation, building the church, building our family. Can I have your amen? Are you there? What you Are you there? Oh, aha, Are you there? What Nehemiah was so serious. Nehemiah, And he prevailed against the strong opposition. What I want you to do is that you are a builder. So you need to be bold. You need to be focused. You need to be serious. You, you should, should have the man to work. And in so doing, you will accomplish your work. You will accomplish your work. You will be able to build. Another spirit that we used to build is wisdom and understanding. Wisdom and understanding. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians, rather, Second Chronicles, a certain king called Solomon. He offered a thousand offerings. And that night, the Lord said, I will not send my uh, angel. I will not send anybody. I am going myself to tell him to wake up. So while he was asleep, the Lord woke him up. Solomon! 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 You have offered too much. I am satisfied with your offering. It is a sweet smelling aroma. So ask me what I shall give you. Ask me what I shall give you. We call this a blank check. What we say a blank check. There is a check in my bag. Remove for me. When you say a blank check, do you understand it? What you say? The check is signed. And you say The check is signed. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to demonstrate a blank check. But when some can see a Jesus. The Lord gave a blank check to Solomon. The blank check is signed by the Lord. It is signed. You know this check is signed. When I give to you, that write any amount that you want. And you write. And you go to the bank. Because I'm a rich man. I'm a rich man. You're also a rich. A rich lady. When you go to bank. And you write any amount. 
the check will not bounce. So whatever you like, you will get it. So the Lord told Solomon in 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 6 and 7 that Solomon ask what I shall give you. Ask whatever you want. Because you have a right mind. You want the church of God to to, to grow. That is the kingdom of God. So ask what I shall give you. Today God will give you a blank check. May the Lord give you a blank check. Do you know the bank where you are going to withdraw from? The bank is bank of heaven. Do you know the bank manager? The bank manager is Jesus Christ. The angels are the securities. There is no arm robber there. And whatever you write, whatever you write, you have it. And Solomon said, Lord, I need wisdom and understanding to enable me to build your nation. You have made me a ruler of this great nation. I need the spirit of wisdom. I need the spirit of understanding. If you be able to build even your own life, to build God's church, to build God's nation, you need wisdom and understanding. So that is what Solomon withdrew from the bank of heaven. And the Lord said, because you did not ask of the soul of your enemies, because you did not ask for money, you did not ask for anything, wisdom and understanding I have given to you. Also, I have given you riches, I have given you uh, uh, abundance of wealth, I have given you honor. Mama, when you saw all the kings who came before you, I hear for any when you cannot reach your wisdom. Baby, I want to woman to me, they cannot reach your Anna, they cannot reach your wealth. And those after you, hallelujah, amen. And the Bible says, Solomon became he became so wise, Solomon, be young, and so for he became so rich. What they are the four set up at a point in time, everybody, he had thousand four hundred. Camels and horses, and the horsemen were a thousand two hundred, twelve thousand. So that 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 were his drivers. That is his drivers. When one and and then the camels stood for cars that time. Today it stands for cars. The camels stand for cars. So he was so rich. And when you read the Bible, when you read chapter 1, verse 15 following, 2 Chronicles chapter 1, 15 to 7, the Bible said gold became abandoned, silver and then bronze became abandoned. When you are like his something, when you look at it, it is, go, it is a gold. If it is not gold, it is a bronze. If it is not bronze, it is silver. So the king made Jerusalem the people that to become rich. But then he was so righteous. If the righteous rule, if the righteous rule, the people will rejoice. And not only that, just 20 years, he built a mighty temple and then a mighty palace. He was using gold. Now what is he called? To plaster the pillars. Gold to plaster. May the Lord let you become a worthy person. You are going to be a worthy person. Sometimes in your room, if you are lucky something, when you look at it, it will be about one million, about ten million. May the Lord enrich you. May the Lord enrich somebody. Hallelujah. 
Domino. So the queen of Sheba heard about his wisdom in nation building. How he used the wisdom to build the nation. The wisdom to build people's lives. I will go and look at it. So he went. She went. She went. And when she went, she went there with a great company. Many people. Not that alone. Of camels, bearing spices. Not that alone. She went there of abandoned gold and abandoned precious stone. And when he went, he asked him some questions. And he was able to answer perfectly. And when the king looked at the ushers, and to share a the ministers, and then I do my own apparel. Now, I show one entire year. When you look at the, uh, the, the citizens, I want to share one more for the apparel. Send one nice show one. When you look at the food, I brought a share the name on Solomon's table. I said, Solomon, put on the food. Adriana, one meat was bigger than less, and number who said, see, one meat was bigger than this. Number who said, see, and you did. What's your empire? The Lord has blessed you. Your food is going to change. Somebody will look at your food and, and open the mouth. Ebay! Ebay! Sometimes you will dress and somebody will look at you from top to down and they will open the mouth and flies will enter. They cannot imagine the wealth that God has given to you. You will just dress once from top to toe. It will cost more than three billion dollars. Say amen! That when the woman look at the house, at the palace, and then the church, from from the, the, the palace to the church, even the, the entrance, the door from the palace to the church, the, the queen could not describe. And, and she said, even what I heard. What I heard, what I have seen, is not half of what I heard. What I have seen is not even up to half of what I heard. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What he was saying was that what I have seen, what I have seen, is greater than. Even more than what I heard. People cannot describe your words. Tell somebody that God is going to build your life. God is going to build your life. And we are collaborators of Christ. We are collaborators of Christ. We are building of Christ. So if you allow yourself, if you allow yourself to have the spirit of a builder, God will build your life. Nobody can describe your wife. Nobody can describe your wife. We are building of God, the church. If you allow the Lord to play his part and we pray our part, no one can describe the greatness of God's church. May the Lord bless you. I am ending my sermon. I am ending the sermon. So, Solomon was blessed to the extent that the queen was marvelous. Solomon, the queen marveled. So, so marvelous about his blessings. The Lord will bless you to the extent that the enemies, the enemies will praise. Your enemies will praise the Lord. Indeed, the Lord has blessed my enemies. That is what they will say. The Bible says why Israel were in the wilderness. The Lord told Moses to take from the people of Israel. Just as we read in Exodus 35, 4 and 5. Those who were having 
a willing heart. Those who are having willing heart and willing mind. When you read, you see that they were having willing heart and willing mind. The Bible says, take from them gold, silver, bronze, and many things to be that tabernacle for them. So the people went. And when they came, they brought all that they needed. They brought gold in abundance. They brought silver in abundance. They brought bronze in abundance. When we are offered unto the Lord, they have to bring your money in abundance. And when you do that for the Lord, the Lord will help you to build your house. You will build your house. You will build your family. You will build everything that you want to build. When you read Exodus 36, verse 1 and 2, the Bible says those who were in charge were called Aholiab and Bezalel. And when you read from verse 2, Exodus 36, 36 verse 2 to 7. They brought in excess. They brought in excess. Because they had the spirit of builders with their open heart, with willing heart. They brought in excess. So when we want to build God's house, when we want to build mission house, if you are having the spirit of a builder, if you are having the spirit of a builder, you will bring abundant things. You will get the money in excess. So there was an announcement that no one should bring anything again. We have had more than enough. We have more than enough. Because they had willing spirit and a willing mind and a willing heart. So they brought in the essence. And then the builders also didn't steal. And Moses also gave everything that they brought. There are some people in church. When some people are offering, when they look at the left and right and nobody is there, they will pick something and put in their pocket. But have you looking up? The Lord is looking at you. The builder does not steal. And in the sermon, one thing that will enable you to build is that is through the power of the Holy Spirit. Power of the Holy Spirit. Why is the Rubabel? Why Nehemiah built? The war. Zerubbabel built the temple of God in Jerusalem. When you read Zechariah, Zechariah chapter four, Zechariah and he faced strong opposition. When you read the book of Ezra, Ezra? Chapter 1. Especially chapter 4. Zerubbabel faced strong opposition. In the time of King Ahasuerus. And then the king Atasasas. So God sent Zechariah to tell Zerubbabel. 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 You are going to build the temple. Your hands have started. And you are going to end. Not by might. Not by power. But by my spirit. But by my spirit. This temple will be completed. Every mountain will become a place. Not by might. Not by my power. Not by your power. But by my spirit. This great mountain. This great mountain. Shall fall. But any great mountain. Any great mountain. In your life. Any great mountain. In your life. Will fall. Any great enemy. In your life. Will fall. Diseases. Will fall. Poverty. Will fall. Every disappointment. Will fall. Barrenness. 
And it will complete. Now, no one ever Whatever you have started building, your life, your family, the church, you will accomplish. Receive the spirit of accomplishment. Receive the spirit of accomplishment. Receive the spirit of accomplishment. You will accomplish whatever you want to build. You will accomplish. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. This great mountain, this great mountain, this great mountain shall become a place. Hallelujah. Do you know what happened? That's why the opposition, Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel was able to build what me see? the house Asafono. of God. Asafono. When you read the Bible, so what can I King Daros, Daros made commandment yes, that this temple that they are building Asafone. should be supported Asafone. from the royal, royal, royal found. Asafone. Royal found. Asafone. They should use the, the king's money the palace money to build a temple and if you have the spirit of a builder you have to be resilient and God will cause sponsors to come and help you you have sponsors for your life may you receive sponsors for your family somebody is going to educate your children may we receive sponsors in the church pastor somebody will sponsor your children somebody will sponsor your children your education to doctorate doctorate degree may you receive sponsors the Lord will bless you you only have the spirit of a builder and your life will never be the same may God bless you may God bless you Thank you for making time with us. We believe you've been blessed hearing today's message. For copies of today's sermon, audio, DVD, and MP3, visit the Christ Apostolic Church International Headquarters Bookshop at Osu, where you can also get other life-changing Christian literature. Follow us on these social media handles. Visit our website on www.cac-int.org. Send us an email, info at cac-int.org. For further inquiries, kindly call Call 055-970-9267, 055-970-9274, 055-970-9432, 023-665-5555, 0302-775. 
2497. You can also visit any of our branches worldwide and fellowship with us. Join us again on this channel. God richly bless you. Christ Apostolic University College, situated in Kwada Sukumase, is accredited by the National Accreditation Board and affiliated to the University of Cape Coast and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Applications are hereby invited for admissions into full and part-time degree 